Imagine a battle for the ages, a confrontation so epic it transcends time and space, two of the most powerful predators to ever exist, facing off in a fight to the death, their ferocity and strength unmatched in the animal kingdom. In one corner, we have the monstrous Megalodon, the largest shark to ever prowl the oceans. This giant predator ruled the seas with its massive size and powerful jaws. In the other corner, the fearsome Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs. Known for its incredible strength and terrifying roar, it dominated the land. This is the stuff of legends, a clash of titans that has captured the imaginations of scientists and schoolchildren alike. The fascination with these creatures spans generations. Who would win in a battle between these prehistoric behemoths? The question has intrigued many and sparked countless debates. Would the Megalodon's massive size and powerful bite prevail? Its ability to crush bones and tear through flesh is legendary. Or would the Tyrannosaurus Rex's sharp teeth and powerful legs give it the edge? Its agility and hunting prowess are second to none. Join us as we delve into the world of these incredible creatures. We'll uncover the mysteries of their existence and their dominance in their respective realms. We'll explore their strengths and weaknesses, their habitats and their hunting strategies. Understanding these aspects will help us determine their true power. Then, we'll pit them against each other in a battle for the ages to determine who would be crowned the ultimate prehistoric champion. This hypothetical showdown will be analyzed from every angle. Get ready to dive into the thrilling world of dinosaurs and prehistoric sea monsters. The adventure awaits as we journey back in time to witness the ultimate clash of titans. Let's start with the Megalodon, the undisputed king of the prehistoric seas. This gigantic shark, whose name literally means big tooth, roamed the oceans between 23 million and 3.6 million years ago. Imagine a shark so large that it dwarfed even the biggest great white sharks alive today. Megalodons could grow up to 60 feet long, which is longer than a school bus. Their mouths were massive, filled with rows of razor sharp teeth that could reach over seven inches in length. These weren't just any teeth either. Megalodon teeth were serrated like steak knives, perfectly designed for tearing through flesh and bone. They were also constantly being replaced, ensuring that the Megalodon always had a fresh set of chompers ready for its next meal. Now, let's turn our attention to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the iconic predator that ruled the land during the late Cretaceous period, around 68 to 66 million years ago. This fearsome dinosaur has captured the imagination of people for generations, becoming a symbol of prehistoric power and dominance. With its massive head, powerful jaws, and tiny arms, the T-Rex is instantly recognizable and undeniably awe-inspiring. Its jaws could exert a force of over 12,000 pounds, making it one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. T-Rex was a true behemoth, measuring up to 40 feet long and weighing as much as eight tons. This colossal size made it one of the largest land predators to ever walk the earth. That's about the size of a school bus and heavier than an African elephant. Imagine encountering such a giant in the wild. It would have been a truly terrifying sight. Its skull alone could grow to be over five feet long, housing a set of teeth that were as long as bananas. These teeth were not just long, but also incredibly sharp and serrated. Like the Megalodon, T-Rex had serrated teeth, perfectly designed for crushing bones and ripping apart prey. This made it an efficient and deadly hunter. But unlike the Megalodon, whose teeth were constantly being replaced, T-Rex had a more limited set of teeth. This meant that each tooth was precious and had to be incredibly strong. Each tooth was deeply rooted in its jaw, making them incredibly strong and durable. This ensured that the T-Rex could maintain its status as the apex predator of its time, capable of taking down even the most formidable prey. Before we throw our contenders into the ring, let's take a moment to compare their vital statistics. In one corner, we have the Megalodon, a true giant of the seas, measuring up to 60 feet long and weighing as much as 70 tons. In the other corner, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, a land-based behemoth, measuring up to 40 feet long and weighing in at a maximum of 8 tons. In terms of sheer size, the Megalodon has a clear advantage. It was significantly longer and heavier than the T-Rex, and its massive bulk would have made it a truly formidable opponent. However, size isn't everything. While the T-Rex may have been smaller, it was still a powerful predator in its own right. It had a massive head, powerful jaws, and sharp teeth that were designed for crushing bone. 
Section 5, Jaws of Death, Megalodon's Bite Force. Let's talk about Bite Force for a moment. After all, what's a prehistoric battle without some serious chomping power? The Megalodon is believed to have had one of the most powerful bites of any creature to ever exist. Scientists estimate that the Megalodon's bite force could have been as high as 182,201 newtons. To put that into perspective, that's more than 10 times stronger than the bite of a great white shark and several times stronger than the bite of a Tyrannosaurus rex. The Megalodon's jaws were designed to crush through bone and its teeth were perfectly shaped for tearing off massive chunks of flesh. One bite from this prehistoric monster could have easily crushed a small whale or even a large sea turtle. Section 6. Tyrannosaurus Rex. A bite to remember. While the Megalodon might hold the record for the most powerful bite in history, the Tyrannosaurus Rex was no slouch in the biting department. This prehistoric predator had a bite that could rival even the most fearsome creatures of the deep. In fact, T-Rex had a bite force that was more than powerful enough to crush bone and bring down even the largest dinosaurs. Its jaws were like a vice, clamping down with incredible strength. Scientists estimate that the T-Rex's bite force was around 35,000 newtons. To put that into perspective, that's a force strong enough to snap through the toughest bones with ease. That's about the same as the force required to crush a car. Imagine the sheer power behind those jaws. T-Rex's teeth were also incredibly strong and deeply rooted in its jaw, giving it a bite that was both powerful and precise. Each tooth was serrated, perfect for slicing through flesh and bone. Unlike the Megalodon, which relied on its massive size and powerful bite to subdue its prey, the T-Rex was also a skilled hunter. It combined its formidable bite with keen hunting strategies. It had powerful legs that allowed it to run at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour making it one of the fastest predators of its time, and its long tail helped it to balance and change direction quickly. This agility made it a versatile and deadly hunter, capable of chasing down prey with remarkable efficiency. Section 7, Prehistoric Battleground, Land versus Water. Now, let's imagine our two contenders facing off in a battle to the death. But where would this epic showdown take place? That's a crucial question, as the environment could play a significant role in determining the outcome of the fight. The Megalodon, as we know, was a creature of the open ocean. It spent its entire life in the water, hunting whales, dolphins, and other marine animals. The T-Rex, on the other hand, was a land-dwelling predator that roamed the forests and plains of North America. It's clear that the Megalodon would have a significant advantage in the water. It would be faster, more agile, and its massive size would make it difficult for the T-Rex to land a blow. Section 8. An unexpected encounter. Could T-Rex swim? But what if the battle took place near the shore, where the water was shallow enough for the T-Rex to stand? Could the king of the dinosaurs hold its own against the ruler of the deep in a more even playing field? While there's no evidence to suggest that T-Rex was a strong swimmer, some scientists believe that it may have been capable of paddling short distances. After all, it did have powerful legs and a strong tail, which could have helped to propel it through the water. However, even if the T-Rex could swim, it would still be at a significant disadvantage against the Megalodon in the water. The Megalodon was simply built for aquatic life, with a streamlined body, powerful fins, and a keen sense of smell that allowed it to track prey from miles away. Section 9, and the winner is, so who would win in a battle between the Megalodon and the Tyrannosaurus Rex? The answer, as you might have guessed, is not so simple. It would depend on a variety of factors, including the location of the battle, the age and health of the combatants, and a healthy dose of luck. However, if we had to pick a winner based on the evidence we have, we'd have to give the edge to the Megalodon. Its massive size, powerful bite, and aquatic adaptations would make it a truly formidable opponent in the water. While the T-Rex was a powerful predator in its own right, it simply wouldn't be able to compete with the Megalodon in the open ocean. The king of the dinosaurs would likely become just another meal for the ruler of the deep. Section 10, dive deeper into prehistory. The world of prehistoric creatures is full of fascinating creatures, each with its own unique adaptations and survival strategies. 
From the towering sauropods to the fearsome theropods, there's no shortage of incredible animals to learn about. We encourage you to continue your exploration of prehistory. Read books, watch documentaries, and visit museums to learn more about these amazing creatures and the world they lived in. Who knows what other epic battles might have taken place millions of years ago? The possibilities are endless. Section 11. What Prehistoric Beasts Should Battle Next? We hope you enjoyed learning about the epic showdown between the Megalodon and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But the fun doesn't have to stop there. We want to hear from you. What other prehistoric creatures would you like to see face off in a battle for the ages? Let us know in the comments below, and we might just feature your suggestion in a future article. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content about dinosaurs, prehistoric beasts, and the wonders of the natural world.